Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Soumya Oja here with us, who recently got into Walmart as a full-time employee through an off-campus placement. She's from VIT Chennai and she's pursuing her bachelor's in computer science. She's here to share her interview experience with us. Now, let's look at the eligibility criteria. Uh, CGPA of 7 or above in 10th, 12th and the pursuing degree is required with no stranding arrears. Now, let's uh, go ahead and talk to Soumya. Also, this is called Walmart Code Hers. This is basically for uh, female students in third or fourth years of engineering. Hi, Soumya. Welcome back to my channel. Firstly, congratulations on your placement. Hi, Jishmyo. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, would you like to introduce yourself again? Uh, yeah, sure. So, hi everyone. Myself, Soumya Ocha. I am currently doing my six months internship in JP Morgan and Cheese and I have recently got an off-campus offer from Walmart Global Tech and here I will be discussing about how I got an offer from Walmart. Okay, thank you Soumya. You can now tell us about the placement process and everything, uh, what, what rounds were there and what they were. Yeah, yeah, sure. So speaking about the process, I would first like to tell that this process was entirely for girls and this was an all over India competition again. So I got to know about this competition last year also. Uh, it, it, it takes place on Dare to Compete. So you can register on Dare to Compete and you will be getting uh, information about all the competitions and hackathons which happen on Dare to Compete. So when this, was uh, when this competition came, they gave me a mail that this has been uh, put up. So I registered for that uh, the same. This is known as Walmart Coders. You can Google it and you will find it. So last year also I have applied for the same and then also I went through the interview process but I got rejected in the last round. And that was purely for the internship students who are basically in third year of their college. And they and they take actually they take uh, for two like for third years and for fourth year people. Okay. So both of them can apply. So last time I applied for third year, this time I applied for the fourth year. So this time this was a full time opportunity. So the first round, now I will tell about the interview the procedures and all. So the first round was an online round where the first thing they asked was an MCQ. So it was as far as I remember 30 MCQs in uh, I guess 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So you had one minute per question. So you had to be fast in that. Hmm. And yeah, so I guess the cutoff will be somewhere around. 24 questions or something if you were able to do you will get or uh, you will pass to the next round okay so uh, actually the first this mcq round did not have you have to first give the mcq as well as the uh, one more round is there which is the coding round these hmm. two are mandatory hmm. and depending on these you will be qualified for the interview process okay so everyone has to give these two rounds so the hmm. first round was this mcq and the second one is the coding round there you will be asked two coding questions and you have to solve that in okay. the span of I guess it was one hour I, I, I remember hmm. so these questions I will say that they were a little bit for medium to hard difficulty I will rate them they were not easy at all hmm. so but if you are able to do I guess one question also then you will be selected for the next round okay. so try compete uh, try to do one question and that will make you to the next round okay and so I did both the questions and MCQs, I don't remember what was my score, but I was qualified for the next one. Hmm. So now speaking about the interview process, uh, they take in total three interviews, of which two are technical and one is the HR one. And all of these three interviews take place on the same day. And later okay. on, after one hour, they will give you the results also, if you are selected or not as a full-time or for an internship. Okay. So speaking about the interview, I will say that the first interview which I had, uh, the interviewer, I will say, was very helpful. He was very generous and he was giving me hints also in the round. So even if you are stuck, they gave me some hint and I was able to like decode what he was mm. trying to say. That will be okay with you. I will tell you the question also. So in the first round, they asked me, it was not like exactly he asked me merge interval question, mm. but he gave me a scenario and then he asked me like what will be the solution for that. Mm. And I figured it out that we could solve it by doing the merge interval, which is a very famous question everyone has heard about it. Mm. So that I uh, told him and then he like discussed me why would you use 
uh, this solution. Okay. If you can use some other data structure, something. And that was general discussion which took place. So hmm. you need to answer all those questions as well. Hmm. So this was the first question he asked, and he asked me to code it. And then he asked me that it, it's okay if the code is not proper. You can just write a pseudo code. He wants to basically know what's the logic. Hmm. He's not interested in knowing all the syntax and all. I mean the pseudo code. So I was able to write it, and then he asked me a second question. The second question was also the second question was not a known type of question. Like the first one was a merge interval, which is known to everyone. Hmm. But the second one was not a known question. It was an array manipulation type of question. So you need to like work out what could be done to get the solution. Hmm. So I was able to do it in two minutes, and then I was able to code it. So both these questions were done. Hmm. And the last, he asked me a question on DBMS. He asked me what are the uh, keys uh, in database. Uh, so I answered it, and then we were done for the first round. Okay. And then they gave the results for this first round after three hours. And after that, I was selected for the second round. They gave me the confirmation that I was selected for the second round. Hmm. And after, um, so in the second round, I was uh, speaking for the second round now. The second round consisted of uh, uh, there were two questions again in it, and the first question was a puzzle type of question. Hmm. So this question was a bit different. I would say I I I got confused in that, and I couldn't I I firstly I could not get to the solution of it. He asked me to like find the solution, so I told him a mathematical expression at first. So that was correct according to him, and then he told me to apply some data structure to it. That puzzle, hmm. and I've never seen that puzzle before, so that hmm. was a bit difficult for me. But somehow he gave me hints, and I tried to recode it, and I finally came to the solution that we have to use graph tracking hmm. in it. So he was okay with, like, he was happy with what I told. Okay. So I want just want to say that even puzzles can be asked in interviews. So you should be good with puzzles as well. Hmm. And the second question which he asked was a very simple question. Like he asked me to find the. Longest substring in the string, which okay. has unique characters. Okay. So that I had done before, so that was easy for me. So both the questions were here, like he was okay with it. Hmm. And then after five minutes only, they gave me that I'm selected for the third round. Hmm. And so the third round was the HR interview round, but there also they did not like ask me very behavior questions as we expect in an HR interview. That was also a bit. Tricky, I will say, because he asked me questions on my project, and then he asked me questions like uh, the things which I have not implemented in my project. He asked me that how can these be optimized? Like I told him, I implemented it in this way, but he hmm. told me how it can be optimized. About your project, and, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. About my project. Hmm. So I could not answer one question. I remember. But I answered it like something. I so uh, answered it something. I did not keep down in it. So my advice would be this: that don't try to like be dumb or don't speak anything. Whatever comes in your mind, just tell him. He will he will think that you are thinking something, and mm. you will be able to explain. It. So that also matters in the interview. So I, I was able to speak something on it. Mm. And then next, he asks me a very you know, general DBMS question, like what's the SQL question? What's the okay. difference between uh, var char and char? Char, yeah. yeah. So that I was able to answer, and rest of the questions on project I was able to answer. Only one question I was not able to answer properly, hmm. but he was okay with it because he told me that you will get to know when you come hmm. to work in a company. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, so this was done, and then in one hour they gave me the result that I'm uh, qualified for the first time. Okay. So that was it. So my advice will be that like you should do all the general questions which are asked in an interview. Hmm. And you should not keep dumb in an interview. You should try to speak what goes in your mind because then only the interviewer might help you with some hints, mm. and he will be knowing that you are going in the wrong direction, and he can help you maybe to come in the mm. right, right path. path. Mm. You should have to speak in that. So yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Somya, for sharing your experience, and yeah, thank you.